Hello everyone. I'm Iranian. First, this video is going to be about John Wayne who was a movie star in the 50s and the 60s and he was like a god. People used to put bumper stickers on the back of their car that used to say God bless John Wayne and he had big motion pictures on the big screen at movie theaters and people used to line up to watch this guy like it's no tomorrow. I never, oh, first in honor, I, want, I would like to put my cowboy hat on. John Wayne would do big screen movies that people used to look up to this guy like this is a god. There is a story behind John Wayne, James Arness, Marshall Dillon on Gunsmoke, and this car that I would love to share with you. First, I never talked to John Wayne. Second, I never talked to James Arness about this story that I'm gonna tell you. Who told me this story was my boss from the summer camp that I was at before he passed away. And I've held on to this story for like 15 years and I would love to share it with you guys. Here is a sample of what John Wayne used to do in his movies. What? I can't swim. How old are you? Six. If you did that today, you'd get 10 years in jail. But those days, it was okay to do that. And it was done in fun. John Wayne was not a child abuser or anything like that. The story of John Wayne is as follows. In 1955 or so, the producers of uh, Gunsmoke were gonna start making the series Gunsmoke on TV. They approached John Wayne and they told him, we're starting a new series and we want you to play the marshal on that uh, TV series. John Wayne said, now again, I never talked to him. This was told by my boss who knew James Arness very well. And uh, again, before they both passed away, John, uh, they told this story to each other. And then Johnny, my boss, told me. John Wayne said, no, I am not interested, but I know just the right fellow. And he spoke like that. You will see in a minute. Uh, I know just the right fellow for this job. He goes to James Arness, who used to own this car, and tells him there is a new series on television and uh, I want you to become the marshal on that series. James Arness told John Wayne, no, I am not interested. Television is a fad. It's a thing that's gonna be in business for two, three years, and then it's gonna go away. But your big screen movies will always live on. I want to star in your big screen movies so people can see me on the big screen. At that point, John Wayne walks away. One night, John Wayne invites 
James Arnest to his house, not far away, maybe five miles from where I'm talking to right now, and invites him over. He puts a bottle of whiskey in the center of the table. John Wayne sits on one end, James Arnest sits on the other end. As I'm told this story, I'm using the exact words that I heard. John Wayne gets James Arnest nice and drunk. And at that point, when he knows he's drunk, he grabs his contract that John Wayne had with James Arnest to star as extra in his big screen movies. John Wayne takes it, says, is this the contract that you were uh, you had with me James Arnest looks at it and says yes it is John Wayne rips the contract puts it in front of him and tells him you may hate me now but one day you will thank me before the first episode of Gunsmoke on television John Wayne comes on screen and introduces James Arness. Watch. Good evening. My name's Wayne. Some of you may have seen me before. I hope so. I've been kicking around Hollywood a long time. I've made a lot of pictures out here. All kinds. And some of them have been westerns. And that's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. A western. A new television show called Gunsmoke. No, I'm not in it. I wish I were, though, because I think it's the best thing of its kind that's come along. I hope you'll agree with me. It's honest, it's adult, it's realistic. Well, when I first heard about the show Gunsmoke, I knew there was only one man to play in it, James Arness. He's a young fella, and may be new to some of you, but I've worked with him and I predict he'll be a big star. So you might as well get used to him like you've had to get used to me. And now I'm proud to present my friend Jim Arness in Gunsmoke. So Arness took the job of being Marshall Dillon on Gunsmoke, by the way, in case you forgot, he used to own this Jeep. Uh, and Arnes was a success. CBS loved him. Everybody that was on TV wanted to invite James Arnes on their show. And he was invited on the Ed Sullivan show. And it was amazing to me to watch Ed Sullivan, a man who manipulates all of his guests to talk to James Arness the way he did. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, before he goes on stage, I want to present to you the most popular TV star and the most popular TV show in our country and Canada, Jim Arness, who is Marshall's villain of the... He was so big, you know. How tall are you? Six foot six, Ed. Where do you come from originally? Well, my home is Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's all right, brother. Oh, well. Minneapolis. It's a Minneapolis night. I suppose you go back and get ready in because I'll be introducing your sketch right now. Huh? All right, that's fine. It's wonderful to have you on our show. It's wonderful to be here. Marshall? Uh. Also, if you watch Arness, James Arness, on TV, he walks with a limp. He was in World War II in the army, I believe, and uh, he got injured. He got shot at. And uh, he was a very, very tall man, six foot six, and uh, everybody looked up to this guy. <laughs> 